Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mohammed Kubaib. In this video, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Intune with Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. We are going to discuss about a brief of Microsoft Intune service and the prerequisites and how Microsoft Intune will help Azure Virtual Desktop infrastructure. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. If you want to learn about more about Azure, Azure Virtual Desktop or Citrix Virtual Desktop, you can check out my bestseller Udemy code. The link for the Udemy course has been given in the description of this video. So Microsoft Intune, it is a device management solution from Microsoft, which is purely a cloud based solution that can help you to manage your device and applications. So when I say device, it includes Windows, iOS and Android devices, as well as we can manage the applications of mobile, which is Android or iOS based application, as well as Windows based applications. So when I say managing the application, it includes controlling the application. For example, you can apply data protection policies such as you can prevent users are taking the screenshots or copying any data to or from the applications. For example, let's say you have an Outlook email on your mobile. You can apply DLP policies to the Outlook so that you can securely control your Outlook application such so that you can prevent user from stealing the data from that application. Similarly, you can manage or control your devices. For example, if you have a office device such as office provided mobile or laptop, so you can apply policies to that device so that you can prevent data loss from the device using the Intune policies. Some of the controls which is highly used in Microsoft Intune, such as you can remotely wipe the device so you can delete all the contents or you can do factory reset of the device as well as you can apply many policies with respect to DLP to protect the data. When it comes to application, you can selectively wipe the application. For example, let's say the users are using mobile applications such as Microsoft Teams or Outlook in their mobile. So when they leave the company, so you can remotely wipe the application from their personal device. So all these actions are possible through Microsoft Intune mobile device management or device management solution. So when it comes to Azure Virtual Desktop, now Azure Virtual Desktop multi-session VMs are supported with Microsoft Intune. So what are the things we can achieve using Microsoft Intune with respect to our Azure Virtual Desktop? So let's see. In a high level, you can apply configuration profile, application deployment, compliance policy, and conditional access policy to the WVD or Azure Virtual Desktop. So let's see one by one what is configuration profile. So configuration is profile is nothing but it is set of policies similar to group policies we can apply to our session host through Intune. It may include, for example, customizing the start menu or hiding shutdown or restart menu or adding any administrator to the local admin group, etc. etc. So there are n number of policies available in Intune under configuration profile so you can select according to your requirement however some of the configuration profiles are not supported in azure virtual desktop so it is only applicable to physical desktop so you have to make sure the supported one and configure accordingly then we have application deployment so you can deploy any 64 or 32 bit application to azure virtual desktop through intune so you can also deploy Office 365 related application as well through Intune. So to install any application, which is a third party application apart from Office 365, for example, if you wanted to deploy 7-zip, so first you need to use a Intune tool to do the packaging. So once you do the packaging, so then you can deploy that package through Intune to the Azure Virtual Desktop. And then we have a compliance policy. So compliance policy is nothing but you have certain policies, for example, the minimum operating system version or maximum operating system version, or if the VMs are enabled with the firewall, 
etc etc there are n number of settings so you can choose what are the settings you wanted so if the session host are not meeting those settings then it will decide the compliance so either it if if it is matching all the policies then it will show as compliant or if it is not matching it will show as non compliant accordingly you can take actions and at last we have conditional access policy condition policies are nothing but based on the condition you can apply policy to your users or session desktop so for example let's say if the session host are not compliance then you should not be able to connect any office 365 applications so accordingly you can define the conditional policy so that your environment will be safe and secure let's see the prerequisites to enroll our session host to microsoft intune the first prerequisite is it should be windows 10 multi session version 1903 or windows 11 multi session these are the operating system you should have in your session host the second one is we need to set up our remote desktop in a pooled host pool that have deployed through azure resource manager the third one is the rd agent should be 1.029441400 and then your session host should be hybrid ad joint once it is hybrid ad joint you can enroll to microsoft intune either through microsoft group policy or you can use configuration manager co-management this is something when you have sscm setup or else you can use active directory group policy to onboard your vms to intune also if you are using azure ad joint machine so you can automatically enroll that to intune in the portal itself so while you deploy your azure ad joint machine so you'll have option to select enroll to intune if you select that it will be automatically get enrolled to intune and the last one is licensing the appropriate azure virtual desktop and microsoft intune license is required so either you should have e3 e5 or uh, security or ems license to get the intune with microsoft azure virtual desktop to launch intune portal first we need to browse to endpoint.microsoft.com then it will authenticate with azure active directory credential then you will land it in this page so here we have multiple tabs so first we need to go to the device tab so this is the place you will manage all the devices for example windows ios mac or android devices in this particular plate so if you go to windows so it will present you with all the details related to windows devices windows enrollment compliance policy configuration profile partial script and updates related to windows patch or feature updates and then we have windows enrollment so under windows enrollment you will have few settings so for example if you wanted to do automatic enrollment so you can configure this option over here so you can enable automatic enrollment of devices which is hybrid ad joint devices so if you select none none of the vms are or vds are get enrolled to the intune and if you select some then you need to provide the group of computers to which you wanted to onboard to intune if you select all all the virtual machines or the physical pcs will get onboarded to intune automatically so then we have compliance policy so in compliance policy we are creating a policies with respect to compliance and then we have configuration profile so in configuration profile we are going to create a profile to define the settings which are required for our pcs or virtual desktops let's see how to enroll our azure virtual desktop multi session vms to intune so first we need to go to the intune console so that is endpoint.microsoft.com so you will land up in this default page so here under this option you need to select devices so under devices we need to select windows here we need to go to windows enrollment so under automatic enrollment we need to enable mdm user scope to all so if you have any group for the devices you can select some and you can select that particular group but for in this example i'm going to apply this to all so that any vms or vdas 
by default it should be enrolled in Microsoft Intune so I'm going to save this configuration now we need to create a group policy to enroll our device to Intune so I have logged into the domain controller so I am going to open group policy management console so this is my OU which is hybrid AD OU on which OU I am going to deploy my VDIs. So here I am going to create a group policy. I am going to enter it as Intune. I am going to click OK. So let's configure this group policy. So I am going to the computer management. I am going to the computer configuration policies and administrative templates here under windows components we need to go to mdm so we need to enable the first setting with enable automatic mdm enrollment using default azure id credential so click on enable here select device credential click on apply and then click on ok so this is the only setting we required and once our vm is deployed and it is hybrid joined automatically it will get enrolled to mdm so let's see that in action let's add vdi to my existing host pool i am in the azure virtual desktop portal so this is my host pool here i am going to add one virtual machine and then we will see automatic enrollment to intune or mdm is working or not so i am going to add a vm over here i'll click on next here we need to enter the details I am going to enter the name prefix as AVD Intune and uh, the location will be Central US. So under availability option, I am going to select no infrastructure redundancy and I am going to keep the Windows 10 Enterprise Multi-Session version 21H2 as my image and rest everything is same like virtual machine size and number of VMs will be 1. And with this type, I'm going to keep it as standard HDD. This is a testing. So if it is production, keep it premium. So under virtual network, select the VNet. So here I'm going to select none. And here I'm going to select Active Directory. I'm going to enter the credential for my domain admin, which can take the VMs in a domain. specify domain or unit yes you need to enter our domain name which is vdabus.site and this is the OU path so on this OU path we have applied the GPO for the automatic enrollment then we need to give a account credential for the local account click on review and create so it is successfully validated then let's create the VDI. So once the VDI is created, then it will be added to the hybrid AD join automatically. Addition of VMs to the host pool is completed successfully. If we go to the resource and if you see here the session host, you can see it is available. So now let's go to our Azure Active Directory and we will see the device status. So as you can see, it is hybrid AD joint. Still, it is showing MDM none. So we need to reboot a virtual machine. And then we will see the status. I'm going to the virtual machine blade. Here, I'm going to do a reboot so that it will get the group policies, everything. Then it should join to the MDM or Intune automatically. Now the virtual machine is successfully rebooted. So let's go to the azure active directory page and we will see the device status so now you can see this is our virtual machine which is in the azure active directory portal it is showing under mdm which is showing as microsoft intune so let's go to the intune page i am in the intune page so let's go to devices and let's go to windows here you can see now it is visible in my Intune page and ownership it is showing as corporate. 
so if you click that device it will give you the overview of the device for example the operating system serial number ownership management and device name etc so here under hardware you can see all the details related to the hardware and operating system language the version of for the windows etc etc so all the uh, also you can see the storage and physical memory etc then if you go to discovered apps it will try to get all the installed application in that virtual machine so this is the brief about how to enroll our azure multi-session virtual desktop to the intune 